phosphate anion, and we're going to draw the Lewis structure for nitrate. So the first thing we do is find out how many valence electrons are in nitrate, and in, in all the atoms that make up nitrate. Nitrogen is in group 15, so it has five. And, um, how do you tell how many valence electrons are in the atom? You look on the periodic table, and you find what group it's in. There are 18 groups in the periodic table. If an element is in group 15, it's got five. If an element is in group 16, it's got six valence electrons and so on. So nitrogen is in group 15, it has five valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, it has six valence electrons, and there are three oxygens in nitrate, so we multiply it by three. And lastly, there's a negative charge on the nitrate anion, so we're gonna throw in an extra electron. So the total number of electrons that uh, appear in the Lewis structure for nitrate is 24. We begin by drawing the uh, uh, preliminary structure. We draw the nitrogen atom in the middle, and we put three oxygen out of the satellites. That uses up six electrons right there, because each one of these is two electrons. The line represents two electrons. And then we still have 18 electrons that have to be dispersed. So normally what you do is you disperse them to the satellite atoms, ones that are on the outside of the molecule. And we, can, we have here six around each oxygen atom, so that makes 18, 18 plus six, 24 electrons have been used up. Now what we look at is the, uh, to make sure that the octets have been satisfied and that there are no formal charges. Or if there are formal charges, we can re-engineer the molecule to minimize the number of formal charges. We see here that these oxygen atoms each have fulfilled octets. They each have two, four, six, eight electrons around them. And when it comes to counting octets, a bond, though shared, still counts for two. But when it comes to checking for charge, then you only count one for the bond. At any rate, this oxygen has a fulfilled octet, so the other two. Nitrogen, on the other hand, does not have a filled octet. It's only got six electrons in its vicinity. So we need to uh, modify that Lewis structure. You'll also notice that there's a formal charge of plus two on the nitrogen atom because it only has actual possession of three electrons when it wants five. So we move in one lone pair, turn it into a bonding pair. And now nitrogen has a fulfilled octet. This oxygen has lost its formal charge. And overall, the molecule is negative one. You can still see two negative charges on the oxygen atoms, but the formal charge on nitrogen has been reduced to plus one. So this plus one and that minus one will cancel out, if you like. And the minus one that's left over is the actual charge, overall charge of the anion. You also notice that um, there's a delocalization of the charges. So in fact, four bonds are being shared over three positions. All these bonds are equivalent in the actual real nitrate anion. But when we portray them on the board or on paper, we have to show that there's a double bond being shuttled around. It's slightly misleading um, on those grounds, but if we remember that the bond is being delocalized at the, close to the speed of light, two-thirds the speed of light, then we understand that these bonds are actually like one and one-third bonds and not a double bond being flipped around. The nitrite ion has a similar strategy, except now we have two oxygen atoms to deal with. So Nitrogen has five electrons, oxygen has six, direct times two, plus the one for the charge. So a total of 18 electrons are in the nitrite anion. We draw nitrogen and we connect two oxygen atoms to it. Then we put the remaining electrons around oxygen, which leaves two more electrons left over at the end. So we place the last two electrons on the central atom. That leaves us with a negative one charge on this oxygen, a negative charge on that oxygen, and a plus one charge on nitrogen and an unfulfilled octet. So we have to um, move in a lone pair, turn it into a bonding pair, and now we get the final version of the nitride anion with oxygen having no formal charge because it possesses, it has full possession of five electrons. It's got a filled octet, two, four, six, eight. So does this oxygen atom and so does this oxygen atom. So there's one formal charge shared over two positions, delocalized, and really we can say these two bonds are equivalent. It's like having three bonds shared over two positions, and that is the nitrite anion, the final structure of the nitrite anion.